G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines on a magnificent day at Lakes Entrance in Victoria. I'm here with Terry Raymond from Crawford Marine and Crawfords have been around basically forever and you're an integral part of East Gippsland. Um, you've got a new brand for us though today, it's a Canadian brand called Campion. I'm not familiar with it and I'm sure a lot of our viewers aren't familiar with it. So can you run us through the basics of the brand and uh, where they come from? Certainly Steve. Uh, they're a Canadian based boat, uh, been, in the, uh, been building boats for 45 years in uh, British Columbia in Canada. Uh, very strong company, family company and uh, looking to resurrect the brand here in Australia. Um, family owned, recently bought out by an equity partner but a very strong company, make a great range of models that I've felt applicable to uh, my customers and uh, yeah, well built, uh, great finish and top performance. Now, so the life cycle of this boat is it's made in the factory in British Columbia. It gets built, put in a container, shipped to Australia, then you put it on a local trailer, that's a Dumbia trailer that's underneath it, Correct. and a locally supplied motor as well that takes advantage of that full six year Mercury warranty. That's the process, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, very loyal uh, Aussie and a very loyal Mercury man. And yeah, everything gets black on the back. Uh, and done to be a trailers. Now tell us, so this has got an exciting name this boat, it's a 492 but it's the, what is it, the sports? Sports Utility Centre Console. So if you've got an SUV which can actually tow this rig, um, you can put the, the Sports Utility on the back as well. Exactly, yeah they matched pair. Tell us about this, it's, it's a Centre Console boat but tell us some of the features of this Campion. Okay, the Centre Console boat has two full helm seats at, at the stern here um, and a nice wide console with a left hand drive. Um, it's got built-in live bait tanks, uh, non-skid flooring, uh, and some great, great solid features uh, in, in the fittings they use. They use strong uh, deck hardware, great bimini work they do. Instead of uh, uh, alloy, they're using stainless. Uh, just a very strong boat all over and nice on the water. Um, one of the advantages I see for this boat is that it, it can be towed by a family car and it'll fit in most garages that people have. Um, and for, a, I suppose, a boat where you're stepping up from a, from a tinny, maybe to a glass boat or a small tinny that the family doesn't like going out in, this is going to be a lot more comfortable drive, isn't it? Yeah, most certainly. Uh, the alternative to a, a great aluminium boat often progresses to a fiberglass boat. And this at five metre, deep V, easily put away in the most family garages, powered by anything up to 90 horsepower. Great for five to six adults. Uh, and that ride and finish and the stability of a glass boat that sometimes can't be beaten. Well, there you go. I'm pretty excited about the Campion brand. I've never been in one before, so let's put this thing on the water and we're gonna bring you some of the performance statistics. Well, there you go. That's the smallest of the Campion range out on the water, and it's my first time in one of these boats. They feel really solid, um, well built. You can't get a fiberglass splinter in you when you're touching these things, and I suppose really designed for comfort. You know, those two big helm chairs, they add up, eat up a little bit of space in the back of the boat, but they're supremely comfortable when you're kicking along. Um, really easy to launch and retrieve and to move around on this Australian built Dunbia trailer, and that 80 horsepower, 2.1 litre, four stroke Mercury on 
behind the back, pushed this boat up reasonably fast. It probably needed one inch less prop to really get it out of the hole quickly, but it gave us some, gave us some great uh, economy. Uh, at 61 kilometres an hour was the top speed at 5300 RPM, uh, where you got 2.2 kilometres per litre of fuel burned. Um, if you drop back to 4000 RPM, you'd go 43 kilometres an hour, and that econ economy would go up to 2.5 kilometres per litre. So uh, plenty of fishing room up the front. There's plenty of underfloor storage, which fishermen are going to really like, um, that drains away through to the bilge. Uh, you can keep your catch under there, you can keep some ice. There's a, uh, an ice chest under that front seat, so you're not going to suffer for places to put your fish or to put some of your tackle. Um, and uh, the Bimini actually offers a lot of shade, and the way the boat's set up at the moment, it's fishing at the front, and it's comfort at the back. But if you wanted to get rid of that bimini and give yourself a little bit more all-round fishing space, then that would be an easy option. Um, easy to drive this boat. It's not that trim sensitive. Um, you can trim it up, trim it down. It's still, it, it, its attitude in the water is fine. Uh, if you really don't know what you're doing and you're maybe not using Mercury's active trim, you're going to be able to drive this boat fine and easy to retrieve on the trailer as well. Um, boat motor trailer packages, they start from the mid to high $40,000 mark. As tested, this one, smack on $50,000 from the guys at Crawford Marine. crawfordmarine.com.au. If you want to go for a test drive, give the guys a call.